Hello YouTube, Spade here and here's battle against a new YouTuber Mega Man EKZ or something. I'll leave the link to his channel in the description so if you feel like it, check him out. Anyways, th uh, this was a standard battle and I was testing my new Jirachi, which you may have seen at the end of my previous battle. But in this one I really got a chance to use it and there's gonna be some sweet haxy madness going on. So enjoy the match. I lead off with Drift Blim and he leads off with Crobat and I don't know if he predicted my trick cause he goes into Heatran who really doesn't mind being choice scarfed. And before this match I had just uploaded my newest video with this Drift, Bl Drift Blim lead so I don't know but anyways I switch into my Gyarados he goes for hidden power, and luckily for me, it's not electric, it's ice. So, now I was half predicting his switch back to his lead Crobat, so I went for T Bolt, but he goes into Weezing, takes it quite nicely, and I don't want to take his T Bolt, so I switch into my Raikou, and yeah, he goes for T Bolt, and. Uh, now he's going to switch and he goes into Ludicolo as I set up my light screen and now I miss my Toxic and he goes for Leechid which is kinda annoying so I just wanna Toxic this thing so I go for it again but I miss so what the and he goes for Toxic and he hits so what the heck is going on here <laughs> I'm really pissed off right now so now I switch into my Clefable to wall this uh, Ludicolo and he goes for lead seed but it doesn't work on my Clefable. I get my Toxic up and I get a free Cosmic Power because he went for Protect. And I go for second uh, Cosmic Power but he goes into this uh, Toxic Rogue and in case he is a Swords Dancer I switch into my Gyarados to get the Intimidate and he goes for Sub so this is a sub puncher obviously and I'm just hoping that he doesn't have stone edge and he doesn't so I just go for flame Traveler to break his sub and with minus one attack I should be able to take this focus band really nicely but my HP keeps going down so what the heck he gets a crit which is really annoying cause I could have used this Gyarados to wall his heat ran so I go into Raikou and it kinda makes up for his two toxic misses because I paralyze him and he gets the actual para hack. so good for you Raikou, you're not totally pathetic. And he goes for Sucker Punch and I just finish him off with another Discharge. So that's really good for me I guess. But now he goes into Heatran to revenge kill me and I just stay in as a death fodder. And now he goes for, yeah, he kills me off with the flame tower, so I can safely switch into my Nidoqueen and predicting the switch into Crobat, I go for Stealth Rocks. And now he goes for U-turn, which I was really hoping for. And he U-turns into Ludicolo, but I just go for Roar. Roar. And I roar him back into Heatran, and I'm thinking he's gonna stay in and try to Earth Power me. Uh, yeah, that's what he does. So I'm gonna get a chance to EQ him, and uh, since Heatran is four times weak to uh, uh, grounds, it's obviously gonna go down. And I even get a useless crit here. But yeah, it didn't matter. So now he goes into Ludicolo again, and I just switch into my Clefapo. And he goes for Surf, and I take it really nicely. And he switches now into Crobat again, and I go for Cosmic Power on the switch. And thinking he's gonna taunt me, I don't wanna go for Cosmic Power, I go for Facade. And it does a lot, but it doesn't KO. And he goes for a U-turn, so the next time he comes in, the Stealth Rocks are gonna KO the Crobat, so that's good. And he U-turns into this Polyvrat, and Facade does a really nice chunk, 
But I don't want to take any fighting type moves, so I switched into my uh, Drift Blim, but he goes for rest, and my plan was to burn this thing with Willow Wisp, so yeah, that's not gonna work anymore. And now he goes into Crobat as a death fodder to see what I'm going to do, and uh, I just go for Shadow Ball, and now he goes back into that Poly Red, and I just go for Shadow Ball, and... Uh, yeah, he goes for sleep talk, gets the bulk up, which is really annoying. So, I just go for what the fuck boom. And his HP keeps going down, down, down. But it doesn't KO. But he's still at red half, and he goes for sleep talk, uh, goes for waterfall. So, now I know his only attack is waterfall, so that's good. I go for body slam with Jirachi, but it doesn't KO. I don't know if I got minimum damage there. <sighs> but anyways, he goes for rest. So this thing could be a problem. I go for sub. He sleep talks again. And luckily for me, he gets rest. So I have a free sub and I go for swagger. And... Uh, well, he doesn't, of course. He doesn't hit himself and he gets another ball cup. And this is a pretty good turn to go for Psych Up. I get his uh, plus 4 attack and plus 2 defenses. And he goes for Waterfall now. Breaks my sub, obviously. And I'm gonna Smacker again, but I miss. And he goes for Waterfall, but with those defense boosts, it doesn't do too much. And obviously this Polyfrat is really porky. And uh, he doesn't get confused and goes for waterfall plus six attack. But with those defense boots boosts, I'm gonna survive survive the waterfall and I get the parahax with body slam, which is really good. But he snaps out of confusion. But luckily for me, uh, he gets the actual parahax. So. Go go Jirachi! And I go for Swagger. And now I think he's gonna hit himself. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't really do too much, even though he has like plus 4 attack technically with those bulk ups. So, anyways, he gets frustrated here, so he switches into Weezing. I go for Body Slam. And I get a useless crit here, because even if he would have survived plus 4 Body Slam, I could have just. KO'd him with another one, so yeah, he goes into Ludicolo, I go for Body Slam, and yeah, plus 4 attack, that's gonna KO. And now he's down to his last, which is the Bolivrad, and now he doesn't have his defense boost or anything, so I go for Body Slam, and that's gonna KO, and that's the game. Go, go, hacks! So yeah, that was a fun hexy match, and uh, like I said in my previous video, uh, this Jirachi uses Xenon's extremely annoying Frostless set, so I got the idea from him, but I decided to take it one step further, and instead of Frostless, I used Jirachi, the ultimate hex Pokemon, with the Parafusion going on, opponent has only a 25% chance to attack, and I really like those chances. It's really annoying, but you know, playing with uh, mind games is always nice. And when this Jirachi uses the Swagger Psych Up combo, it can turn into a deadly sweeper while opponent uh, opponent's Pokemon struggles with the Parafusion. I could actually use Iron Head as the on only attack, but I do like the Parafusion and Ghosts haven't been a problem for me so far, so yeah, I don't care. I like Body Slam better. Uh, but now to the question of the day. And uh, some days ago, Smogon sent uh, Latias back to the Uber tier. So, what do you think about this situation? I say it certainly deserves to be an Uber. But the interesting thing is that Latias has been part of the OU tier for a long time 
and during that time it has established uh, its place as one of the most dangerous OUs there are which no team can take lightly and now that it's uh, gone who's gonna feel the vacuum of power who's gonna take Latias's place there's been a lot of talk about the rise of mixape and mixmens but what are your thoughts how will the meta game change leave a comment below and i hope you guys enjoyed the battle and i will see you guys next time spade is out peace